word to say, behold! And the jaws of darkness do devour it up. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, great audition. Isn't that a beautiful speech? Behold, no one says that anymore. Why not? It's a perfectly good word. Behold, my tie is blue. Behold, I got it on sale. Behold, Mr. Forges has toilet paper stuck to his shoe. Oh, hey, that's very good. Oh. Oh, uh, I'll be right back. I thought I was pretty good. You had no idea what you were saying. So, my hair was fantastic. Was Vanessa looking at me? Doubt it. She's too busy looking at herself. I don't blame her. The only reason I'm doing this stupid play is to look at her all day. Am I too late to audition? I hope. Hey, Bob, I'm happy to see you here. I didn't know you had an interest in Shakespeare. I don't. My mom said it was this or oboe lessons. Huh. Love the enthusiasm. Hey, Vanessa. We both have something in common. We both like looking at you. <laughs> do, do I know you? Hey, Zaka kids! Oh, no. I love this plate on you. It's so romantic. I'm auditioning, too. Who's your friend? <laughs> this is Vanessa. Agnes, I, I think I left my jacket in homeroom. Could you go get it for me? I'm cold. Oh, here. You can wear my sweater, Zacky Boo Boo. <laughs> Stay at the Tokyo Tipton. Fantastic. Not as fantastic as the Boston Tipton, right? <laughs> Actually, Daddy says the Tokyo Tipton is the best Tipton ever. Oh, yeah? What's so great about it? Well, the lobby there was decorated according to the Asian principles of feng shui. I mean, you could really feel the difference in the energy flow. It went right through you. Are you sure you didn't just eat some bad sushi? This is a bagua. It is also the only thing she carried. <laughs> it's a chart that shows how to arrange your space to enhance different areas of your life. Like, good health, good fortune. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, your lobby's way out of alignment. So is my spine. <laughs> There's too much fun, not enough shui. Oh, London, this is all just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Daddy says I can change whatever I want. Oh, dear. Good luck with that. <laughs> Do you really think I'll get the part of Hermia? Of course. And I'm a shoe in for Lysander, who gets to kiss Hermia. I know. I mean, it's about time. We have been dating a day. <laughs> Wanna practice? Work, work, work. Hi, Cody. Mom! What are you doing here? I'm here to pick you up, like every day. Where's your brother? Maybe you didn't recognize me because I've been weight training. Want to feel my guns? <laughs> Come on, pumpkin! Mom! It's nay on the unkin pay. Ari say. Didn't we make a deal that you wait for us by the mailbox three blocks away? Well, forgive me for wanting to see my boys perform my favorite play. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind. And therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. Wow. wow. That was fantastic. Oh, thanks.
like Shakespeare? Yeah, I did a little Shakespeare in my younger days. Oh. But that's ancient history now. <laughs> Bye, Mom. See you outside. Uh, wait, uh, I could use an assistant director, and wow, you would be great. I'm flattered. The answer is yes. No! <laughs> yes, I promise I won't embarrass you, okay? No, oh, isn't this gonna be oodles of fun? <laughs> Walk with me. <sighs> Don't you love what I've done to the place? Don't you think people are going to have trouble finding the check-in desk? If they do, you can just ring the chimes like this. Check it over here! I have issues with this outfit. Well, there is no place to put my wallet, and I'm feeling an uncomfortable breeze. London, I've got a little situation at the candy counter. What's the situation? It's outside, and I'm freezing to death. Well, that's because you've got your summer kimono on, silly. Why can't I wear my old uniform? Because it's in disharmony with the lobby. I'm not even in the lobby! But then, are you sure that... <laughs> I think you've gone a bridge too far. <laughs> now, are you sure that you're using that feng shui thing correctly? Positive. Now, everyone, help me move that fountain into the wealth corner. This is madness. Okay, there is no way that moving around furniture in the lobby is going to have any effect on anyone's wealth. $800! How about that? Who else do you want to move? <laughs> Telegram. Telegram for Mr. Good. <laughs> Telegram for Mr. Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez. Oh, it's from my uncle Ricardo. Huh? He just struck oil on our property, and our entire family's getting a share. I'm rich, I'm rich. Yay, me. See, I told you this feng shui stuff works. Ah, I still think it's just a coincidence. Excuse me, uh, does anyone here own a silver hatchback? Oh, yes, that would be me. Well, uh, I just totaled it. Oh. Lucky for you, I own a company which specializes in foreign vehicles, and so that you won't be without transportation, I'm gonna give you the pick of the lot. Oh, well, thank you very much. It's very generous, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm getting me an Italian sports car. <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. It works. It works. My feng shui works. Hello? What? My yacht just sank. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. Go back. of Helena. <laughs> I got the part of Hermia. I knew you would. Really? Yeah, we really don't care. And I love <laughs> I'm the fairy queen. Of course. It's my regal bearing. Could you get Zaki Kent's? Hmm. Lysander. Sounds like a mouthwash. <laughs> but I have to be Lysander. Lysander and Hermia kiss. Wait, which part did you get? I'm bottom? That part must stink. <laughs> but that's the character who gets turned into a donkey. A donkey named Bottom? Definitely stinks. <laughs> oh, yeah? What part did you get? Well, whatever it is, it's got to be better than Bottom. <laughs> Your puck. The fairy. A fairy? <sighs> I hate my mom. OK, everyone, now that we've all got our parts, Let's start rehearsal. All right, let's go. Now, who's ready for some acting exercises? Uh, actually, I'd like to discuss the theme of the play. Great idea. Oh. Only first, let's do some mirroring exercises, OK? Everybody, pick a partner and then face them. But, but no, I'd like to. No, I'd like to. Could we just? Could we just? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> See, it's fun. You guys try. Hey, Zach, let's be partners. When? Let's be partners. <laughs> you need to quit the play. What? No way! Uh, but Lysander and Hermia kiss. I forbid you to kiss Gwen. I won't be kissing Gwen. My character will be kissing her character. Oh, yeah? Well, my character will be punching your character out. <laughs> Excellent. Good work, guys. Gwen, you seem like a lovely girl. And I would hate to see you get hurt. Why would I get hurt? 
Because if your stage kiss with Zach lasts longer than a second and a half, I'm gonna flatten you like roadkill. <laughs> good, 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 good. Nice facial work, girls. <laughs> Look, I like Cody, not Zach. So you say. Just keep the kissing to a minimum. Okay, Zach, Gwen, let's start with the scene where Hermia and Lysander decide to elope. Yeah, and remember, this is the play where everyone falls in love with the wrong person because they've been bewitched by the fairy puck, but in the end, true love conquers all. Ha! <coughs> uh, I just wanted to get the theme in. Okay, if we're all through, start there. If thou lovest me, then... Okay, good. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I need you to play the subtext, the emotion underneath the words. Yeah, you're asking her to run away with you. I was I... getting that. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it again. Only this time I want to feel the emotion. Now, look into each other's eyes. Connect. And then say what you really feel. If thou lovest me, then steal forth thy father's house tomorrow night. My good Lysander, I swear to thee.